What's good, YouTube? It's your boy One Wheel Rub back at it with another video. You feel me? Hey, you feel me? Today, as you can see by the title, we got a QA. I ain't did a QA in a minute. Shit, last time I did a QA was probably like 2017. You feel me? I tried my best to go on my Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Have people comment QAs and I mean, questions and shit so I can answer them. So I'm just go through them, you feel me? Make sure this is your first time watching. And if you have been watching and haven't subscribed, yeah, make sure y'all go hit subscribe. Oh, God damn. Make sure y'all go hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you know when you post. When I, when I post. My bad. So you know when I post. I'm going to be posting more consistently, you feel me? So get in tune, you feel me? So we're just gonna jump straight in and ignore this because I just like chewing on shit, so it's a force of habit. So if I put it in my mouth, just excuse it. You feel me? First question is gonna be, what are some of the goals slash achievements you set for yourself in 2020? I don't know why the fuck I can't talk, but I feel like it's because I'm trying to rush through this. Like, it's a lot of questions, so I wanna get it done. But yeah, what are some of the goals, achievements you set for yourself in 2020? I feel like the biggest um, goal that I have for myself this year would to be to stay consistent, um, staying on top of everything that I, I want to do. Um, like now I kind of shifted my mindset to really focus more so on one thing. Um, like before I was doing music and YouTube and getting more focused on music and less focused on YouTube. So I feel like I kind of want to like still do music, but like direct my main focus to be towards YouTube. Um, as far as achievements and stuff I want to accomplish, um, I don't really, I haven't really set anything, but I feel as though, like, money-wise, financial-wise, is some, like, a personal type of goal that I've set for myself to just be more financially stable and, and financially responsible. Um, next question is, ever think you'll come back to Virginia as in living here again? So, those of you who don't know, um, I'm from, I'm from Connecticut and Virginia, it's kind of weird, but I've lived in Virginia most of the time, um, so I guess you could say I'm from Virginia. I recently moved in like May or something and I've been in Connecticut ever since. I I know for a fact I'm not moving back to Virginia, um, but I definitely will visit all the time. I'm actually going there in a couple weeks. Um, but as far as moving back, it's different circumstances now. So it will kind of be impossible and kind of like messed up if I move back to Virginia. So yeah, so I'm not moving back. What has been the most eye-opening experience for you? The most eye-opening experience for me in my life would probably have to be like moving out. Um, when I was, what, 18, I had to move out of the house and I had to get my own crib. So just the whole experience of having to wake up every day and put a roof over your own head and like you constantly gotta go to work, constantly gotta go to work, get up, that's the same routine, paying bills, all that type of stuff. Like that's definitely, definitely like the biggest eye opener just to see how that process worked. And that ended up being like a whole other type of situation where goddamn, I had to go through a lot of stuff um, in that situation to really understand life. Like I was involved with a whole lot of shit, so. That's definitely the most eye-opening experience for me that I've dealt with in my life would be moving out and entering the real world for the first time. Fresh out of high school too. Who's your favorite sister? How's life and are you gonna be more active? Um, I don't have a favorite sister. Those of you, y'all don't know, but I have a few different family sisters in my life. I don't have a favorite sister. I don't believe in favorites. Um, life, it could be, it's okay. It could be better. Life it could always be better. Um, I feel as though like you should never really get too comfortable with life. Um, you should always be searching for more and more and more. So life is alright. Um, I still want to get more out of it. Um, are you gonna be more active? I'm definitely gonna be more active. I'm definitely about to put this first. Um, I'm trying to get consistent to the point where I can post videos every day and you know have videos where I can store away so I can have it set for everyday posting. And the next question was, can we get more vlogs? So yeah, most definitely, vlogging is definitely gonna be a thing. Um, I'm gonna try my hardest to really make the vlogs interesting, but I'm thinking now, like, I should um, branch out to do more pranks and sit down videos with other people and stuff. Like you seen in the last video, I did a collab. So more collabs coming, I do have more people that I've reached out to that's coming soon. 
Um, what's been happening since I moved? Since I moved, a lot has been happening. Life has been happening. Uh, more so, life in Virginia is actually happening more than here. So it's like I'm hearing a lot of shit from there than here. But I do have a lot of stuff going on here as well. Um, stuff I'm not even ready to reveal just yet. So, you know what I'm saying? All that's, all that's coming soon. Y'all probably see more of that like next month for sure. Um, and see the journey with that. Um, I love you too, by the way. She said she loved me to the morning back. What's my favorite memory? I would say off the top of my head, my favorite memory would definitely be graduating high school. Um, graduating high school, that was just definitely like an eventful day filled with like mad emotions, more so happy than anything. Um, that was just a time where everything just went right. Uh, like I just, even though shit was happening, like I just didn't even let shit affect me. Like it was just, it was just a good day, you feel me? That's definitely my favorite, my favorite memory. I did vlog that too, you feel me? Um, how was your childhood even though meeting me was the best part? My childhood, I had a pretty, I had a good, I had a good childhood. My mom did everything she could for me. Um, she did a lot for me actually. I tended to drift off to my own situations and get myself in on my own stuff. My childhood for the most part was pretty good. I was pretty like, my mom was kind of strict. So like the littlest stuff I would get beat for, but for the most part my mom like, she really did make sure I had a good childhood and I thank her for that for real, for real, for real. What are your favorite foods? My favorite, my all time top tier favorite food is definitely hot wings. I, that's my go-to. Anytime I go out, it's definitely always hot wings. Like, it don't never get no better than hot wings, especially in Virginia, bro. There's this place called America's Best, and they got these 24 karat gold wings. Shit's bust, bust. How much do you enjoy riding those dirt bikes and ATVs? Um, dirt bikes is like really like. Well, when I was five. It's shit, even before I was five, my stepdad had a motorcycle and I just remember watching him and he used to wheelie and stuff. I just remember watching him on a motorcycle and just, it felt like, to me as a kid, it just felt like free. Like it was just, you feel me? Like it was just so fun to just watch. Like, so just imagine like how it feel to ride. And then when I turned five, my dad, I came up here to Connecticut, he bought me a pocket bike. So ever since then, like, you feel me? It's just been love, like for that. Then he bought me a four wheeler, like, it's crazy, like, you feel me? I even got, like, a dirt bike um, chain. I might have get my sleeve tattooed too with some dirt bike shit. I really gotta get back into that, but, you know what I'm saying? Life just happened, so I'm just trying to be patient, you know what I'm saying? But I really do love that shit. Like, it's really, like, it's, like, really, like, uh, a crackhead, like, having crack. Like, that's how much it is. How many bodies you got? <laughs> How many bodies I got? I'm gonna say I got six. <laughs> I feel like I feel like it's just childish to like really like ask that question and to like really keep track of that. You know what I mean? I'm not saying like it's OD or nothing, but I just feel like it's kind of like like why I even do that. But I mean, some people some people care. When did you lose your virginity and what was it like? Um, I lost my virginity in ninth grade. I was 15. I was here actually, and like, it's crazy cause my dad asked me like two, three days before if I was still a virgin, and I told him yeah, and then like, it's crazy, like I just lost it like a few days after. Well, it was pretty horrible. It was a pretty bad experience, only because of me, cause I ain't like, I really ain't really know for real what I was doing. And then on top of that, I didn't wanna have sex in my bed, cause my brother like used to sleep in my bed, so it was like, I didn't want to be disrespectful, so it was in the bathroom, but it was really weird, but honestly, it was pretty terrible. I'm not even going to hold you, like, it was pretty bad. <laughs> my most embarrassing moment in high school. My most embarrassing moment in high school, um, I don't even know. I don't even know what my most embarrassing moment in high school was. Now that I look back, like all of the stuff I've done, I would say the most embarrassing thing to me as a person now, which is not really embarrassing, but like in 11th grade, like I was going through a lot. 
So like, it was this nigga like, like my niggas didn't fuck with him. I ain't really had no beef with him, but you know how it go when your friend beef with somebody, y'all all beef cause y'all all click up, you feel me? But he started carrying me, so I ain't like that shit. So then it became my beef. But ended up one day, I was walking with Tommy and I, I bumped him. Like he was just talking that shit. So like a couple of days later, I was having a real bad day. Like I was, my day was going terrible. Like so, I told my mom pick me up. My mom was like, no, just stay in school. Then I told my favorite teacher, I'm like, yo, I need to talk. Something going on, like you feel me? I just already knew. So ended up going to lunch. I won't talk to nobody. And then some girls started fighting. And then I was just sitting there chilling. I wasn't even too impressed with that shit. So the nigga, like, I'm watching him walk in front of me the whole trip. And then he get to this point, and then like he say something to me, and I just say, "What's up?" I said it twice. The nigga never put his guard up, and I just remember hitting him. But it was just like. In the moment, cause I was young, it was like, damn, like, I really just, like, you feel me? I fought, I beat that nigga ass, whatever the case may be, it is what it is. But now I think about it, like, damn, like, that was kind of embarrassing because I had to go to the administrator and they didn't think I initiated the fight. They didn't think it was me. So I had to tell them, like, they was like, we're gonna try to get you just five days if we can not get you any. Um, cause we know you didn't initiate the fight the whole time I really did. So just seeing the face, of like my principal was like, damn, that's you know what I mean. I felt good at that moment, but now I think about it, I didn't really feel. That was kind of embarrassing to just be in that situation, cause now I, I calm down a lot. So, you feel me? I mean, niggas, you know what I'm saying? You did shit, whatever the case may be. When was your first heartbreak? My first heartbreak was in, I want to say, I was a sophomore or a freshman. Um, Dating this girl, we was dating for like two and a half years. Um, it wasn't, it's not, it wasn't a real terrible relationship, but like she just did stuff in the midst of our relationship that just kind of like, like as a man made me feel lesser. Um, like even though I was so young, like it still like from that moment on it carried like because I was never like no, no real hardcore or player or whatever the case may be. Like, I really was fucking with her, so she moved away. And then I just remember one time I called her and some nigga answered her phone. It was just asking who it was and like I was just fucked up. Like that was like the first time that was the first heartbreak I ever had for real for real. Yeah, I carried that shit a lot. Mm -hmm. Are you dating anyone? What's your favorite thing to do and who inspires your music? Am I dating anyone? I don't wanna to touch too much on the topic. Um not not because of the fact that I am or I'm not. I just don't want to touch too much on the topic right now. Um, what's your favorite thing to do? My favorite thing would definitely be riding dirt bikes. Uh, definitely my favorite thing to do in music. Um, so just tying that one into the last question, inspiring my music, it really just comes, inspiration comes from what I, I've been through or what I go through or how I feel at the moment. Like That's why I feel like my music is so raw because it's like, I don't just make like songs just because like I have to be in a situation where it's like, okay, I'm hurt about this or this is upsetting me or damn, I just watched this happen and I felt a certain type of way about it. So my music is really raw. Like it really comes from real feelings like shit that I went through. So my inspiration in music is just life surrounding me. You know what I mean? Like the more you'll listen to it, you feel me? The more in tune you are with like the shit that go on, you'll really like understand that. So as far as artists, I would say um, right now, Rod Wave is definitely inspiration to my music only because like I make pain music, he make pain music and no cap, like no cap, he really like raw. He definitely inspired my music too, but I don't think I really sound like them, but they just give me like type of motivation to be like, all right, I hear what you're saying. So I'm finna do the same thing and be that type of inspiration to somebody else. So yeah, what project you working on this year? This year, project wise, I'm definitely just trying to take this YouTube shit serious. I'm definitely trying to like incorporate like people around me like to go to the next level with me because I don't want to just do it by myself. Like I'm always the type of person I always like helping people. So you feel me? You see me collabing like with Alyssa and 
whoever else I may collab with, you know what I mean? Those are the type of people, like, those are the type of projects I'm talking about. Like, like if I can, I'm the type of person where sometimes I can't do it, but I know certain people can. Well, not, I'm not saying I can't do it, but I may not have the time to do it or the resources or, like, you know what I mean? I can't do every single thing that, I'm not gonna say I can't, I'm not gonna say I can't. Basically, what I'm trying to say, my project would definitely be helping myself and helping other people as well. I don't, I don't believe in saying I can't because I'm anything is possible. I could do anything I put my mind to. But I feel like my biggest project would definitely be taking everybody to the top with me, you feel me? So as far as pushing other people to make videos or me having to link up with certain people so we could do videos and collab, whatever the case may be, or me reaching out to somebody, let's do a song. Anything I can do, my biggest project is to give back this year, I would say. Um, as far as myself though, like project, I'm definitely dropping more music. I'm um, probably gonna drop a mixtape sometime soon. Um, I definitely have a lot of shit to say like on, on my tape, so definitely dropping a project soon as far as music. But more music on drop, I was just working on a song, that's why you see the beats and stuff in the background if you can, so definitely more music dropping soon, soon, soon. Um, did someone ever try to hinder you from reaching your goals? Um, of course, all the time. Um, I've definitely been in certain situations where people who wasn't on the same type of time with me, um, they didn't support or they didn't believe in me. Um, some certain situations you really can't get yourself out of, like certain people you really can't, you can't not be around, you have to. Um, but I just feel like, you know, everything I had to go through in my life definitely instilled um, self-confidence in me. Um, determination and a drive to just, you know, get out of that, like, get away from people hindering me, get away from negative thoughts and doubts, and just really made me branch out and do my own stuff, like, right, like, when I really first started doing YouTube, it was so much shit, like, going on that really was just, like, don't do that, like, I don't support you doing that, but I did it anyway, you feel me, and I actually was doing good when I first started off, so, you know what I mean, it's just all about fight, like, it, you get what you want out of life, you feel me. So that's, you know what I mean? When shit be hindering me and has hindered me, I just keep moving forward. Like, that's all you can do. Um, would you rather be a model or a photographer? <sighs> that's a hard question. I think, I personally, I would rather be a photographer only because I like creating. So, like, watching a piece come to life, like, watching, like, watch, like having somebody and then creating something from them, I feel like it's a good experience because everybody can't see what you see. So the one time where people don't understand you or don't get what you're saying or cannot see where you're coming from, a photo like a photo, doing photography, at a time where you can allow people to see what you're doing and they have to really accept that, like, you know what I mean? Like, this is what I'm seeing from my eye view. This is what I want to capture. Look at this, you feel me? Pay attention to this. Like, this is what I, this is what I'm saying, you know what I mean? I'm, you feeling where I'm coming from now because you're looking at it, you know? So I definitely would rather be a photographer. I do like modeling, though, I like being behind the camera. Um, but then again, it's like, damn, people don't know really how to capture the type of image I want, you know? It's hard to really tell somebody your image, but certain people do. Definitely rather be a photographer, though. Why you think you act the way you do? Now, this came from Liz, which is my best friend. The way I act, as far as probably what she's talking about, as far as like the kind of person I am, I act the way I do is because, like I said, all the shit I've been through, um, how my mom raised me, the situation, the circumstances that I, I was raised in, um, you everybody acts the way they do because of the situation they, they grew up in, you know what I mean? Believe it or not, you know what I mean? You could you could always be one way, but change your mind to be something else. You could change yourself to be something else. But me personally, I'm definitely the way I am because of like the shit that I was involved in, the life I grew up in. And it kind of like, it, it kind of like at first, it kind of knocked me down, but then again, it made me stronger because after a while, you just got to accept like, damn, this is me. Like, you feel me? I got to start embracing who I am and becoming myself. Like people are just gonna have to accept me for me. But yeah, I act the way I act because of what I've been doing and how I grew up. Biggest goal for 2020, I answered that one. 
I didn't even realize this is the last question. When are you coming back to Virginia? I know a lot of my viewers probably fuck me from Virginia. They all probably watch my shit. Coming back to Virginia on February. I'm not going to release the date, but I'm coming back next month. I'm trying to get all my ducks in a row for right now. So when I go there, I can get there smooth. I can have bread. I can do whatever. You feel me? Coming there very, very, very soon. Like sooner than soon. But yeah. So that's going to wrap up this Q&A. You feel me? I hope I didn't take too long. Cause I know some people get bored like watching, answering questions. Some people y'all really, really fuck with it, but that's just why. Like you feel me? I need people to comment, um, and like get more active so I can know what you want to see. You feel me? I got some pranks coming soon, most definitely. I got some collabs. I got some funny ass videos. I got vlogs. You feel me? I'm just trying to get more consistent with it. Um, get these videos to upload it and, and just entertain and just carry good energy to y'all. You feel me? So with that being said, you feel me? Make sure you leave a like on this video, comment down anything you want to see, and hit the subscribe and the notification bell. Other than that, it's been your boy One World Real.